All right, YouTube. I'm finna get ready to pull all this interior out of here. Seats, carpet, headliner, door panels. Everything. Finna get ready to do my interior now. Freeway Junkyard Adventure. I'm on a hunt for some bucket seats. See what we got here. Somebody already got them. A little link in that list here. Yeah. I always like the way these seats look. find some Okay, YouTube. I think I finally found what seats I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna take them out this old one here. Yeah. I got my jump box. Everything wired up, powered up. See the light on over there. Never mind how they look because I'm gonna get them redone. Once I mount them in the box Chevy, I got the back seat over here. It's a box Chevy right there. I'm gonna take it over there. I brought it over here yesterday. Can't really tell because it ain't sitting up in there, right? But let me show you how these seats here work. They got the switches on the door. Got them up. That's all I need to do. Get my ratchet and get the work, YouTube. Let me go ahead and take them out. I'm gonna cut you back on when I get them out. This a look at the seats. I pulled the seats like I think about seven months ago. I just been having them sitting up. I ain't been doing nothing to the car, but. The video of me at the junkyard pulling them out, that was about seven months ago. So you might see some videos months apart. That's just the way I do it. I might shoot a video when I'm starting on something, but I might I might not never work on it until a week or two, maybe a month later. I just wait and try to get it all put together. Then I put all the videos together. But these are the seats here. Never mind how they look because I'm going to redo them in ostrich. The seat controls was on the door. It's heated seats too. I got the box Chevy seats over here. They were sitting outside doing them seven months. But I got my jump box right here. I'm finna wire the seats up. 
just to make sure they're still in good working condition. Then I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna make my seat rails, my brackets. I gotta wire it up. I just got the operation control part wired up. I ain't got the heat wired up yet. I might not even wire that up, but I got this wired up. Let me show you. Front and back. Forward. Take it back. Up and down. This part here is for the back of the seat. That boy chilled it all the way back in. Lay down in it. Okay, that's all I wanted. Make sure it's still operating. Trying to map out how I want to do my seats. The dilemma is I need seats here. The little bracket that hold all the controls, the wiring, the wiring harness. It sit down farther than the, the floor pan. And on the box shelf the floor pan, it's kind of flat. It ain't that much room. So either I'm going to have to bring it up here and mount the harness up in here, or I'm just going to do away with all these wires because I don't need all these wires. I just need the wires to the motor. I ain't going to use to heat it seat part I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna do away with these wires and rewire it up so I can just have the wires just to control the motor then I can have it flush I ain't gonna have this offset down here I'm gonna get that started I'm gonna cut you back on I got the bracket loose on both of them this in here, it's gonna be all right because it's just really one wire. I can run that right up under it without no problem. But this driver's seat is all kind of wire. But I ain't gonna use none of that. These the only wires I'm really gonna use. These six wires here, and plus the ground. But these only wires run to the motor. That's all I need. These wires to run to my controls. So I'm finna do away with all these wires, cut them up, get them out the way, and I'm gonna cut you back on. I got it all cleaned up. As you can see, I just really got one section of wire. And I got the hot and ground. And my controls right here. Got the passenger side over here, same way. But you see how it's gonna be flush now? I don't got no overhang at the bottom because that floor pan wasn't gonna allow me to have it. Done away with all that. Now I'm gonna come up with some 
seat brackets. There's all kind of ways you can make some brackets, but I don't know right now. But I'm gonna look at my old, my old seats over here. Turn these over. That's the passenger side there. This the driver side. I think I done came up how I'm gonna do my brackets for my rails. As you can see, the driver side seat, the bracket, it's sit up higher than the driver side seat. It's like a flush bracket. These the ones I want on the driver side seat. Because if I use these on this here, my seat gonna be sitting up too high. It's gonna be about like this. So if I use the flush mount, it'll be down up in here. But the problem is, I just got one, one set of them. So I'm gonna have to go to the yard and find another driver side seat so I can have another set of these. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut these off and I'm gonna worry about the other ones on down the line. But what I'm gonna cut them off with, I got a grinder with a cutoff wheel on it. I'm just gonna stick it down up in here, something like this. Just cut it off, all four of them. I got my driver side brackets cut off. I just used up one disc and started on another one to cut it off. Now I gotta go to the yard on the hunt for some more. Sprayway Junkyard Adventure. I'm on a hunt for some driver side box Chevy seat brackets. I'm gonna cut you back on when I find what I'm looking for.
think I found what I was looking for. I'm going to take these brackets out of this 84 Oldsmobile Royal Broham. Same setup as the box shipping. The reason why I picked these is because somebody had already done undid the front. So I'm just going to have to take the back loose. What you're going to need, you're going to need your 13 millimeter. I got a ratchet in 13 millimeter. And I'm going to use this as my breaker bar because I know it's rested out. And I got me a cordless cutoff tool by the walk. Let me get set up and I'm gonna cut you back on. You see I got my 13 millimeter ratchet and wrench. I got it up under there. Then I'm using this for my breaker bar. I just put it on there. I already broke it loose though, but this is what I'm using for leverage. Just uh, loosen it because these seats are kind of hard to do because I ain't got no power to them and it was slid all the way back so I couldn't really get to the, the boat with a nut. I think I done got it loose now. Yep, that should be all of them right there. I done got it out. Take the back here, I got it set up. See these are the brackets I want. One, two, three, and four. The only thing I need is just the bracket. So I'ma just cut these off. I got one of them already cut off. I had to go get two more fresh hot batteries because that one battery died just cutting this one off. I got two of them off with three of them. I got one more, but I done ran out of juice again. And I don't have no more hot batteries, so I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow and take this last one off. But I do got three off. We in business now. I got all eight of them. They're identical. Like I said, when I was at the yard, you can really get any GM vehicle around that same year. All of them got the same seat brackets in it. Like Regals, Monte Carlos, Cutlass, any, you know, Oldsmobile, Brewery, Pontiac, Chevy, all of them will work. So don't just think you gotta get a box Chevy. You can get any of them vehicles, same seat brackets. So what I'm finna do now, I'm finna take my, I gotta flap this. I'm finna clean up all this. Clean up all this rust off and finish grinding this point here down. Make it flat. I'm gonna grind these off too. Well, I'm gonna cut them off. Make it flat. I'm gonna clean up all this. I also, I gotta cut these off. 
all four of them. Take that off there too. I just put one of the brackets in a clamp just to hold it in place while I clean it up with my flap disc. Okay, I got them cleaned up pretty good. I also went ahead and drilled me some holes. I think this is a 5 16 drill bit. I drilled me some holes, two holes, because I'm a plug well. Each bracket on to the rail. I still got to do this one here. This is the only one I ain't did. But I done did all the rest of them. It would have been nice if I had a drill press. But I was just using that DeWalt cordless drill. Took me a while to do, but I got them in. But they ain't got to be perfect because I'm going to fill it up with a well. Okay, I got this one here cleaned up. I done cut everything off of it. I had cut this bracket right here off on both sides. Plus it has some little things up here I had to cut. Let me show you on this one. This piece here I cut off. I had to cut that rivet off. Then I had to cut this little piece here off. Same way on this side. In the brackets. I'm gonna show you what I'm going for. See this the piece came off. The brackets came off the box Chevy seats. See I'm gonna plug where well these here in place once I you know line it up take it out and get a fit and fitment but it's gonna be on both sides same way and then this bracket here it go in the back somewhere back here I ain't gonna be able to put this boat right here in because I ain't be able to access it but I'm gonna put this boat here. Just wanted to give you an idea how these brackets sit down in the floor pan. Like I said, when I was in the shop, I ain't gonna be able to use this screw here because the seat rail is gonna be covered up. I ain't gonna be able to access it. But I'm gonna be able to use this one and that one and the two fronts. Same way with the driver's side. It's a little surface rust on the floor pan, but that ain't number surface rust, so I can easily get that up. I'ma bring one of the seats out here. See, can I start getting my fitment? Okay, I got one of the seats out here. Give you an idea how it's gonna look. I forgot to mention this. When you're gonna get these seats, you gotta make sure you get a seat with a small enough rail. Cause I had got a Cadillac seat at first and the rails was too wide. It wouldn't sit down in between the floor pan. But this one I'm working with. See my brackets down. They go to the back one now. Let me zoom in. See, that's the back one. But the seat gonna come down. That's where I'm gonna put the well at. And over there. Somewhere around there. But I'm gonna weld these first ones. The front. I got my paint marker here. I'm just gonna use this to mark my spot on my metal so I know where to weigh up. Here go the package here. 
you might see them use this at junkyards when you get your parts and they'll mark the part up, put the price and date on them. This is what they be using. But it's good for welding so you can mark your spots. I wish I could do it with uh, one hand, but I'm going to push this down. Then I'm going to draw around my uh, rail so I know where to put the weld at on both sides. I'm going to get that draw out and I'm going to cut you back on. I got my rail outline drawn out on the bracket. Okay, I'm finna bring the driver seat out and do the same exact thing on it. I got two holes drilled out. The reason why I got the holes drilled out because I'm gonna run screws, then I'm gonna bolt my brackets down to my rails. I got this one over here kind of set up for you. I haven't tightened it up yet because I'm going to take it outside, make sure everything line up, then I'm going to bring it back in, I'm going to tighten them up, then I'm going to get me a cut off wheel and cut the tops of them off. Then I'm going to come back and tack weld it so the bolts won't come out. The reason why I didn't plug weld it because this aluminum and ain't no way I could weld metal to aluminum. So I'm going to do it like this. You can see from the factory, they did the same thing. They put some metal through the aluminum so they can have a place to weld the little bracket on into the rail. But I'm going to go ahead and get that started. Then I'm going to cut you back on. I'm just test fitting it now. I haven't tightened nothing down. I kind of hand tighten it. But I'm good to go. I can tighten it up now. So once I tighten these up, I'm going to slide my seat up far as it can go so I can get this back one, these back ones here, started. Once I get this driver's side seat in, I'm going to start on the back ones. I got the front brackets done on both seats. Now what I'm doing, I'm finna tighten down my original bolts to the floor pan. I ain't gonna tighten it all the way, I'm just gonna hand tighten it so I can slide both seats back with both seats forward so I can access the back brackets. I got my back brackets bolted down, holes drilled, bolts ran through, and the nuts on. I ain't went outside and test fitted it yet, but the front, they're in the right position. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my grinder and cut off the tips of my bolts. I'm finna cut this this side here off. Then once I go outside and test fit the back, make sure the back line lined up right. I'ma come back in and spot weld it. See, can I get you a view of how the back came out? See the boat lined up real good. Making sure all my bolts tight before I cut my tips off. 
like I did these front brackets. Once I do that, I'm going to come back and weld the bolts to the screws so the bolts won't come out. I got all my bolts cut down, ready to be welded. This is my welder here, Lincoln Electric. Let's get started. Got to weld it on. What I'm finna do now, I got me a drill with a wire bit on it. I'm finna clean up my wheels and clean up all the other part of the bracket. show you what I'm doing because it's hard trying to do this with one hand just clean it up because I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot some prime over it next then I'm gonna shoot some black paint over it just to kind of protect it from rusting again I got it masked off now I'm finna shoot some prime over it I'll be using this aerosol can primer by Rustolian. I got a nice coat of primer laid down on it. I'm finna go over that with some semi-gloss protective enamel. I got the black laid down. Let me show you. I didn't go with that first can of paint that I showed you. I went with this here. It's restoring high performance enamel. I didn't try to get the bottom mud smooth because it had scratches in the way I grinded it down and all that. You ain't gonna see the bottom of it anyway. I just wanted to get a coat of paint on it and primer. Keep it from rusting again. 
Now I'm finna slide my rails up and make sure I got the paint up under this. Then I'm gonna slide it back and do the same thing. Okay, YouTube, I got the back seat, the back part up. It's just sitting up in there. I'm trying to get an idea of what I'm gonna do to it. As you can see, pull this out for you. I used the original hooks. That one and that one over here. See? And they just fit right over the original hooks. Then I'm just going to bolt it down to the floor. But the thing about it, the bottom part of the seat, it really ain't sitting up in here right. It's kind of sitting up real high. So what I'm thinking about is fabricating my old bottom onto the new one. Just put, just take this cushion off and take the uh, new cushion off and put it on these little rails here. That's what I'm thinking about doing YouTube. But we're gonna see. I'm about to start working on my back bench seat now. I was trying to get this here to fit in there without too much changing up. But I think it'll be pretty easy if I can fabricate this cushion onto the original box Chevy spring and cushion. Let me turn it over so you can see what I'm talking about. See, this is the original, the springs and the cushion. See, if I can get that padding and the, the outer part onto here, I'd be in business. Then I can just, you know, connect it how it's supposed to be connected. But the seat, it's almost the same size. Ain't that much big of a difference. I'm finna go ahead and cut these clips off. Then I can see what I'm working with. Got that covered off. Now I'm finna get to this one. I got both covers off. Here's the cushions. See this cushion here on the original box Chevy? It's on a metal rail with springs on it. And this one here, it's just on a little plastic piece. But this is what I got planned. I'm gonna put this cushion on the original rail. Something like that there. I think I can make it work. I 
got the new cover and a new cushion on. It's gonna look something like this. I ain't got nothing tighten up because it's just uh, I just did it just to make sure it was gonna be able to work but I think it's gonna work let me turn it over everything lining up pretty good I ain't gonna tighten nothing up yet cuz I'm gonna get my a poster redone. I'm gonna get everything redone. So once I get it redone, then I can tighten everything on up. But I think it's gonna work though. Should be pretty easy. Tighten it up. Trying to figure out how I'm gonna test this to the back of my box shaving. Let me zoom in for you. The original hooks, they line up with the original hooks in the box Chevy. The only thing is they sit down and make the seat sit down too far. So I had went and cut out the original hooks out the car. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna weld this, something like that. So I give me a line right here. That's where I need to be at the bottom of this so I'm gonna wear this to that I went and got three of them see them two right there but they don't line up it just got one in the middle so I'm gonna wear this I'm gonna wear one in the middle too so I'm gonna take my flap disc and my grinder and grind all this down to bare metal so I have somewhere to wear it to I'm gonna clean this up and grind this down too. Let me take care of that and I'm gonna cut you back on. I got it grinded down. I went down here a little bit further so I can grind it off. Got the brackets welded on. Now I'm finna hit it with a coat of primer. I got my brackets all primed up. I went on and kept the originals on here because you never know. I might want to take the buckets out and go back original. I just bent them back up. Get them out the way. But now I gotta work on my bottom brackets. This is just a test fit. Just to see how it was coming. See this is what I was talking about. Them original hooks. It had the back of the seat sitting all the way down to the floor. And if it was sitting down to the floor, I couldn't put the, the bottom part of the seat in because this was down too far. So I had to lift it up just in order so I can have room to clear for the seat can sit all the way back in the back. But it had some original brackets right here. It came straight down, but I couldn't use them because if, it, if I used them, the bracket would have been in the way for the seat to go back so it'll be able to clear. So I cut them brackets off. I'm finna fabricate some more now to make it work. I'ma try to have the bracket going back some and then down instead of straight down. I'm trying to make me some brackets to my back bench seat now. This bottom part, these original brackets, they was too long. I tried to bend them try to make it work but I got tired of fooling with it so I decided to try to make my own bracket but this is what I got I cut four pieces out like this out of this here I done welded the bottom piece on, on both sides I know my weld look crazy 
because I ain't no welder. But it's on there though. But my plan is to take this other piece and weld this to that piece. Then I'm gonna bolt it down to the back of the car right here. That's my plan. But I don't know if my plan gonna go through until I get it all welded on and test fitted. Just came back in from test fitting this back on. I gotta change the plans. I ain't gonna go with this idea here by connecting this to that. I got the looking. I think it'll be a better idea if I use these original ones connected on to this. See, if I cut it off round about right here, then weld it on, but it's gonna sit down a little bit farther than that. Weld it on like that, I think that'll work. I just gotta cut it round about right here. That'll be good enough. Cause right here, I have room, you know, to flex. This right here flex some, um, so if it ain't exactly right, I could bolt it down and it'll pull it in where I need it to be. But with these here, I ain't have too much room to play with. Let me get that going, I'm gonna cut you back on. Show you the progress. I got that welded on. I think it's gonna work. See, I got some play. This here move back and forth. So when I do bolt it, it'll pull too. But we're gonna take it outside and see what we got. This is what I done came up with. in a perfect position came out good this the other side here same way on this side so I went and picked up some bolts screws and washers I grabbed these also because I didn't know what size I was going to use but I'm going to go with these here but I'm going to cut this part here off then I'm going to weld this onto let me see I'm going to weld it on back here And then I'm gonna cut it down the size. Once I get on, you know, get it on there, see how much I'm gonna need. But first, I'm gonna take my paint marker. Then I'm gonna mark, I'm gonna mark back here where I need to put the boat. Then I'm gonna pull this back off and get my weld out. See, I marked my spot. Once again, paint marker. I got my marks grinded down on both sides. Also went on and cut my screws to size. See, it's gonna go something like that. I'm gonna put the seat back on here and remark it. And then I'm gonna come back in with my welder and weld this on. I got my screws welded on. This is what I was going for. That's it there. Cutting out my bottom cushion now, so it'll fit down right. I cut that hump out, get rid of it. Plus it was a piece here, I cut that out. Same way on that side. Plus it was a piece right here, I cut out. Let's see how it's fitting now. I think that's gonna work, YouTube. Only thing left now 
is running me a, a hot wire over here to the passenger side seat because my box ship I already had electrical seats so I ain't got to run no hot wire I just got to tap into the old wire and just run me one to this side to control the passenger side seat other than that I'm about done Spray, we got a package in, y'all. Show you what I got. Nineteen seventy-seven through nineteen ninety, Chevy Caprice photo, black. This my carpet. My interior gonna be black and. Ostrich, somewhat like a peanut butter color, but not quite peanut butter. But it's gonna be black in that color. This is the carpet over here. It got the original padding on it. Let me put you down for a minute and roll it out I got it somewhat stretched out it got a few wrinkles in it cause it's been folded up in that box for I ain't no telling how long but it ain't nothing a little heat won't take out got the original hump in it I'ma let it sit in here overnight try to take its form then I'm going to install all the seats in and give you a look at it. I got the seats installed. I'm finna go with three things with you. this back bench seat. I ain't got nothing tightened up. I just got it sitting on the springs and cushion because I'm gonna get it redone anyway. So it didn't make no sense to tighten it up then take it back apart. But I got it in here though. I'm a fiberglass man center console, so I'm gonna run my controls up through here, and I'm gonna have it in my center console somewhere along here. I got it hooked up to the battery now, so let me get it going for you so you can see how it works. Take it to the other side. 